What is up YouTube? I'm back again with another video. So today I'm going to be reviewing uh, this canteen set. Um, I was actually just in my thrift, or not thrift store, uh, hardware store, and they have like an outdoorsy section for like uh, fire pits and stuff, but they also have like a little bit of camping gear in this. I noticed this in with their camping gear, and I don't usually review stuff like this. But I actually used to own one of these, not these exact ones from this brand, but one similar. And it made me think of that, and I don't think I have it anymore, but I decided to pick this up and do a review of it. So let's take a look. So this is by Wenzel since 1887, and it's these GI style three-piece GI style kit. Canteen belt kit. Uh, so you got the GI style cover, adjustable belt, comes with one quart canteen, snap closure cover, and adjustable belt. It is dishwasher safe. And it basically repeats that information all the way around. It's made in China. So let's take a look. So this was $13 uh, after tax. Now the one that I had, it's a uh, belt was pretty much the same except it had black grommets. These are like silver almost and or gunmetal gray. Okay, so it is one of those covers. So um, the surplus store that closed down here, they actually used to sell kits like this. And those covers had this reproduction M1910 hook, which I always thought was cool that a company went out of their way to reproduce that. But the one that I had as a kid, it was just a belt loop. They didn't have this. So that's what I was curious about. And let's take a look at the belt. So some fuzz coming from it. So it seems like a pretty decently constructed belt compared to the one that I had which is surprising. Um, let me see how far it adjusts all the way. I'm going to have to set the camera down for this. But no, it's just one of those uh, small pieces of gear that I think just about everybody had when they first started collecting or maybe as a kid or as a boy scout and it makes you reminisce about um, your uh, childhood, I guess. So, here's the belt, and I would say adjust to about 42, 45 inches. So they actually have the, the male buckle on backwards, so that's why the whole belt is like this. Normally it would look kind of like that. And then these just loop into there, um, loop into the grommets like that which I'm actually gonna see how well the garments work so I'm gonna have to set the camera down again for me that's always like a a true test is if the uh... as if the the grommets will actually work so let's see here they actually, hmm, it looks like, and I, I didn't catch this when I first opened it, but they actually put the M1910 hook on upside down, so that's the way it should look when it hangs on there, but they actually, they actually had the hook upside down, so it wouldn't sit properly which is interesting and let's take a look at the canteen for water only do not apply canteen to open flame or burner plates made in China pretty basic let's, well feels screwed on all the way here let's try okay so I had some play in it now it should be good but uh, Let's, well, hmm. So air is leaking, so that means if I had water in there, 
it would leak out. But it's screwed on as tight as it'll go. And it looks like they have a gasket in there. But uh, water leaks, or wa water would leak out of this if I had filled it, so that kind of defeats the purpose of that. And there's the cover. So, yeah, guys. Um, I mean, I don't know. It's just one of those nostalgic things that got me for it. But, uh, um, yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much how these kits were, you know. Not, uh, not too well put together, but very cheap. Uh, cost effective, too. But, uh... Anyways, guys, so that's going to wrap it up for this review. If you guys have any questions, just go ahead and let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed this super quick review, and as always, have a nice day.